As John just showed us, students across the country and in Minnesota are taking a stand against gun violence. Today at the state capitol, students staged a die-in outside of the Minnesota House chamber to draw attention to their concerns about school safety. Earlier this week, a House committee struck down two gun control bills. Not far away, students from Henry Sibley High School in Mendota Heights boarded a bus. They are on their way to the nation's capital to join the movement led by the survivors of the Stoneman Douglas shooting. Our Jeff Wagner is on board that bus ahead of the March for Our Lives event. Good late evening, everybody. Jeff Wagner here joining you from a rural part of Wisconsin at a rest area. Myself, along with 36 students from Henry Sibley High School, and some volunteers and chaperones have just stopped for a quick break, but in about 14 hours, that bus ride will end in Washington, D.C. for the March for Our Lives event. Earlier this evening, though, everyone loaded up onto a coach bus outside St. Anne's Episcopal Church in Sunfish Lake. 36 students, along with teachers and volunteers, got on board. About $30,000 in donations are paying for the trip. And so far, it's been what you'd expect. Some people sleeping, others reading, and of course, lots of fun conversation. Many were already talking about Saturday's march. Not only are they excited to be participating right outside the U.S. Capitol, their grateful donors made it possible. Uh, it's incredible for me. Um, just seeing all of the recent headlines of violence in our schools, I, I'm like honestly fed up, and I'm really, really inspired and like so happy that we got these donations and that we're able to go on this trip. Uh, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and I'm gonna make the most of it. Seeing um, yeah, the youth that are involved in this like on a bigger scale and knowing that I could be a part of that and actually use my voice to make a change and be a part of history was just an incredible thought and I'm so lucky that I have the chance to be here. I think that will be an amazing feeling because um, for the first time that I can remember, people, the youth of America really have come together on this issue and even though they don't have the power to vote, they can express their opinion and I think it's really cool and it's really impactful that they're all coming together to do this. Once we arrive there tomorrow, the students will start working on the signs they want to carry with them during the march. They'll also go to the Lincoln Memorial and lastly, they'll get advice on how to peacefully protest. In rural Wisconsin, Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. All right, Jeff, thank you. Jeff's going to continue to bring us stories from the march and the rally in D.C. throughout the weekend on TV and on social media.